Hey gang, Redbeard here. Seen some questions on how to change materials using buttons or other sort of signals. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and show you how to do that. Hey gang, Redbeard here. Uh, today we're in screen mode because we're going to be looking at Rec Room Studio. I've seen some questions on how to change materials using buttons or other sort of signals. Um, and we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that. But first, let's look at what we're going to build. All right, here we go. All right, so see that blue cube over there? With the touch of this button, we can make it a stone cube. This one here, we can do ivy. Now we're going to make it just blue, and the last color is red. So this isn't really hard to do, um, but stick around. We're going to go ahead and show you how to do it. All right, so here we are in Unity. We've got this prefab cube that I've created. You can see over here it's orange. There's a chip inside. If we go ahead and open this prefab, you'll see we've got four textures up here. And then we've got these four events. Let me show you what's going on in each event. So we named this one blue. We've targeted the cube mesh and we've called it and we're using the blue texture. To create one of these from scratch, go down here and you hit unity event. Let's call this one yellow. And then we'll hit plus here. Again, target that cube, new function, material render, material material, and now it's asking for which material, so we're going to use the yellow one. So in the CV2 event, we'll call it yellow, and it'll trigger that yellow. Now we come out of the... Next thing is to leave the prefab, go to Rec Room Studio, upload and build. We're going to hit continue because I'm in the room. All right, we're back in the room. We're gonna go ahead and add the circuits to this. You can see I removed the previous circuits that were there, uh, but let's get started. The first thing is you need to make a pen, and then what we're gonna look for is a button. You can use anything to trigger these. Uh, I just use a button for now. And then what you need next is called Studio Event Center. It's the second one here. Go ahead and stick this on the wall. Now we're going to connect these, connect the button to trigger it, so on press, and then this yellow one here is what is it going to trigger? It's going to trigger the cube, and what is it going to send to the cube? It's going to send yellow. Hit done. Now when we hit the button, this will turn yellow. So the next thing we can do is we can go ahead and select this button. Uh, select the button and the studio event. We're going to clone it. Clone it one more time. Now let's configure this one. This will be texture 2. And this will be blue. Next thing we need to do is connect what it's changing, what it's triggering this cube. There. Now when we push this, we should get the texture. And this will turn it blue. So there you have it. We've uh, changed the buttons to yellow, stone, and blue. This makes it easier to know what's going to happen when you click those. But you can use anything to trigger these. You can use a uh, room event. You can use trigger zones, uh, grab handles, all sorts of great things for that. Um, so that's basically it. Go ahead and, and try it for yourself. Let me know in the comments uh, if you liked what you did. Also, while we're here, uh, check out my cool maker pen. Isn't that awesome? Yeah. All right. That's it. Have a good day. We'll see you later.